Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India started discussing about the uh, turbo prop engine then now we are going to move to the turbo shaft engine and then uh, we will continue with the some of the other uh, parts but let us uh, look at the um, uh, turbo shaft uh, because what we have finished like the comparison with the turbo prop with the turbo fan and now we are going to look at the turbo shaft. So, this is also going to be a small section, this also kind of uh, engine is a form of gas turbine which is optimized to produ produce um, shaft power rather than jet thrust. So, this uh, produces uh, shaft power not the jet thrust. Generally, a turbo shaft engine is made up of two major components, one is the um, gas generator, another component is the power section. So, the gas generator consists of one or more compressor, combustor chamber or turbine and the power section actually consists of an additional turbine or a gear reduction system and the shaft output. So, and there are uh, different uh, example of turbo shaft uh, manufacturer uh, like one is the biggest is Pratt and Whitney they have PT6 and PT6, uh, PT6A these are the engines. Then uh, G also manufactures some of this like it has S61, S62, uh, then uh, also Uh, so, that power this aircraft, so the engine is uh, T700 or CT7, these are the engine. Then also Allison engine company, Lycoming, Rolls Royce, all these and so the Soviet uh, also, they also manufacture this kind of turbo shaft engine. Just to look at the analysis of a turbo shaft engine, let us say if you look at a a uh, single pool engine, then the engine will the schematic will look like this. Uh, we have a like then there is a turbine sitting there, then you have the load. So, this is a single spool uh, turbo shaft schematic. So, one can think A, 2, there is the combustion chamber. And then 3, this is 4, 5. So, you can see this the load is driven by the same gas generator shaft uh, or driven by the free turbine. Uh, so, this is a single spool configuration and uh, the similar one we can so, the TS diagram if we plot of the same engine, it will look like starting from here, it will go there and then from there it will come here. So, this is 3, here the P A is P naught 2 equals to P 5, this is 5, this is 4. So, that is the and if we look at, so it has um, we can uh, single pool engine. So, this is um, analysis would be quite similar to turbo prop. Now, what we can do the single pool engine, spool engine we can look at the turbine the turbine drives both the compressor and the load. 
So, assuming full expansion in the turbine, so the shaft power would be 1 plus F minus B eta m t w t minus w c by eta m c, where F is the fuel air ratio, B is the bleed ratio and the mechanical efficiency is eta m t, compressor efficiency is eta m c. Now, the shaft which drives the load, um, it could be the load which means let us say for example, the rotor of the helicopter experiences some of the mechanical losses due to friction. So, the W load would be eta m W shaft. So, then we can find out the P load would be m dot a w load. So, that is how we can get it. Now, similarly like a, a single spool we can have a two spool turbo shaft also and there is a different station number and if you draw the T s diagram similarly here this is where from where it goes like that. So, this is 3, this is 4, and this is uh, 5, this is 6, P A, P naught 2, P 6. So, now the twin spool also, now if you look at the gas generator turbine. So, if you have the gas generator turbine, so that point provides sufficient energy to drive the compressor and thus the outlet temperature is obtained from the energy balance and how do we get it is a simple similar analysis that we have done it is W c by eta m c. So, that gives a T naught 5 is T naught 4 minus C p c T naught 3 minus T naught 2. C p t eta m c eta m t 1 plus f minus b and similarly we get p naught 5 is p naught 4 1 minus t naught 4 minus t naught 4 by eta t t naught 4. So, now free power turbine, the free power turbine if we look at the gases are basically have a complete expansion and to the ambient pressure. So, the power delivered to the load would be P load is m dot a 1 plus f minus b eta m C p f t t naught 5 1 minus P a by P naught 5 gamma t minus 1 by gamma t. So, that is how the analysis actually holds for turbo shaft engine. Now, so that is how you can have single pool or double spool turbo shaft. I mean the detail other component detail analysis we can carry out in the similar fashion that we have done for turbo prop or any other um, turbine engines. Now, with that we will move to the one which is is a propeller fan. Okay. So, this is a modern type of aircraft engine related to concept of both the turbo prop and turbo fan. So, that somehow uses both the concept of turbo prop plus turbo fan. So, that is sort of a combination, but distinct from both. The engine uses a gas turbine to drive a unsealed propeller like a turbo prop, but the propeller itself is designed with a large number of uh, short uh, highly twisted uh, twisted blades similar to the turbo fan engine. For this reason the propeller fan has been variously described as this could be called as unducted fan UDF or call open rotors which is OR or it could be called ultra high 
bypass that is UHB turbo fan. So, this could be also said like that. Now, it has a small diameter, highly loaded, multiple bladed variable pitch popular, a propulsor having swept wide quad blades. So, propeller fan is uh, designed to operate with a turbine engine and using a single stage reduction gear. So, it has an uh, reduction gear that results in high performance. So, the performance is high. Mm, so, the design is sort of intended to offer the performance of a turbo fan with the fuel economy of turbo prop. So, most common arrangement for propeller fan is a two spool gas generator two spool gas generator and apt located gearbox driving a pusher fan. So, with apt located gearbox driving a pusher fan. So, this fan produces the majority of the uh, thrust it has number of blade which is greater than the propeller of turboprops, but less than those of fan in the turbo fan. Similarly, the so one can see like uh, there are also some historical thing, there is a history behind this kind of things. So, like some old like here is an example of open rotor. So, this is um, like this is a G introduced this unducted G 36. This is an apt mounted open rotor fan system with two rows of counter rotating composite fan blades. So, this was in 1980s it is of, of the pusher configuration the core was based on GF04 military turbofan. So, exhaust gases were discharged through a 7 stage LP turbine, each stage ring was designed to move freely. So, the turbine rotor drive on propeller while the other propeller is connected to the un earth turbine stator and all this. So, the total the uh, in effect that power turbine has 14 stages which you can see here. Now, the other one which one can see is also the one which is shown here which is unducted fan in MD 80. Okay. So, this is another uh, one which is example of that uh, nature. So, Pratt and Whitney engine one can see also there are I mean other engine manufacturer which also they produce some engines of this kind of propeller fan and they are in to some extent like this is another one which is uh, Pratt and Whitney 578 DX which is um, uh, 1980 this also having a reduction gearbox between LP turbine and the propeller blades. Um, so, now the some progress been made. So, this is our D27 propeller fan. So, this was developed by USSR. So, this is even conventional nail layout with prop propeller fan blades in front. So, it is used for propelling AN 70 aircraft. So, this was used for AN 70 aircraft. So, typically if you look at the classification of the propeller fan, there are two different types. One is the tracted type. So, if I look the prop fan, then there could be tractor type or it could be pusher type. So, these are the two different category which can be possible. 
and the tractor type propeller fan is similar to so this is one of the uh, kind like it could be saying the tractor type or you can say puller type so this is an similar to forward fan with the fan placed so this is again the tractor fan can have two different kind one is the single and another is the counter contra contra rotating or counter rotating whatever it is so the example of contra rotating is this one you can see this is the contra rotating so that is what is shown there this forward rotor has eight bladed while the rear is six bladed and the pusher type if one has to see this is a pusher type typical arrangement of the turbo fan where it is similar to the aft fan where the fan is um, coupled to the turbine it is always of the contra rotating type so the two fan rows are driven by free turbine this type would be more elegant as the engine would be placed behind the rear pressure bulkhead in the fuse lights minimizing the noise it also allow an aerodynamically clean wing now one can compare this um, like between turbo prop turbo fan and propeller fan so if you compare that propeller fan engines have the best known propulsion efficiency single uh, single rotation propeller engines have propulsion efficiency around 80% while contra rotating can go up to 90% so main feature of propeller fan engine versus both turbo prop and turbo fan engines are quite significant so also we can see that like for example we can go here and see this comparison between all this turbo prop turbo fan and this and uh, you have this but you can see the propeller fan number of blades compared to turbo fan less but more than this diameter is smaller power is larger blade type uh, swift maximum thickness thinner tip speed supersonic bypass ratio is 25 propulsion efficiency higher uh, esfc is there mach number is around 0.7687 cruising altitude is 11000 but open rotor pre, uh, some pose some technological challenges which like um, like the open rotor kind of configuration Mm, like noise and vibration like then structural re enforcement of fuse lag and wings so air worthiness air worthiness consideration engine installation and mounting gear box cooling and reliability then design of efficient counter rotating components so these are some of the challenges with uh, then competing technologies because uh, obviously that is another competing technologies so the current technology engine 
is improving on an average 1 percent per year, which means that traditional turbofan engine available in 2020 are likely to be at least 11 percent more efficient than 2010 production. So, that is an major technological breakthrough. Then we can another is the slower aircraft operating speed, operating speeds. So, these are the some of these challenges which are there and you can see this. So, the other thing what, what is also possible that un, uh, this uh, there is a possibility of this is a three spool configuration. So, that is also possible this is an unducted three spool configuration and you have all this um, kind of I mean this is just an example that this is also possible and you can have a TS diagram for this and you can similarly look at the analysis. So, for example, A to 2, 2 to 11 goes 3, this is 11, this is A, 0 to 0 4, so this is 0 5, 0 6, 7, 8, so 9, so this one is 0 8 s and this is delta h and this is alpha delta h. Now, this one would be 9 s and here one can have so this goes like there. So, this is 0 1 0 and that also connect to T A and this is 12. Okay. So, these are the different portion. Now, one can do this analysis which could be quite sort of straight forward. So, one has to look at first the um, intake which is this is probably the last uh, one that we would like to discuss on turbo fan and that would pretty much um, finishes the. So, if you have the let us say the um, flight speed which is given u and then ambient condition P A T A, then you can find out gamma R T A. Then at the intake you can find out the Mach number u by a. So, you get the T naught 2 which is the relationship using that m square and p naught 2. So, we have done this so many times, but probably so diffuser or intake efficiency minus 1 by 2 m square gamma c by gamma c minus 1. Now, intermediate compressor. So, intermediate compressor which is 2 to 3. So, here P naught 3 is P naught 2 into pi I P C. So, and T naught 3 equals to T naught 2 1 plus pi I P C to the power gamma C minus 1 divided by eta I P C. Now, high H P C or high pressure compressor which is 3 to 4. So, P naught 4 would be P naught 3 into pi H P C. Similarly, T naught 4 would be T naught 3 1 plus pi H P C gamma C minus 1 by gamma C eta H P C. Combustion chamber which is 4 to 5 where P naught 5 is P naught 4 into 1 minus delta P G C 
and it is 1 minus b into CPCC T naught 5 minus CPC T naught 4 divided by eta b q r minus CPCC T naught 5. Then HPT that is 5 to 6. So, energy balance for high pressure spool from where we get CPC T naught 4 minus T naught 3 1 plus F minus B CPH T naught 5 minus T naught 6. So, here we are assuming the transmission efficiency or the mechanical efficiency of the shaft and all this um, to be 100 percent. So, from here we get T naught 6 minus if 1 plus F minus B CPH T naught 4 minus T naught 6 and uh, P naught 6 by P naught 5 which is 1 by eta HPT 1 minus T naught 6 by T naught 5 which will be gamma H by gamma H minus 1. Then intermediate mediate pre, uh, pressure turbine or I P T which is 6 to 7 again energy balance would give us T naught 6 minus C P C by 1 plus C P H T naught 3 minus T naught 2. So, we get the pressure by P naught 6 1 minus 1 by I P T T naught 7 by T naught 6 gamma h by gamma h minus 1. So, we get from here we get P naught 7, from here we get P naught 6. Then UDF or unducted fan, so here T naught 10 is T naught 2, so P naught 10 would be P A 1 plus gamma c minus 1 by 2 m square minus 1. So, P naught 1 is P naught 1 into pi u d f. So, T naught 1, T naught 10, 1 plus pi u d f, gamma c minus 1 divided by eta u d f. So, what we get? T 12 by T naught 11, P a by P naught 11, gamma c minus 1 by gamma c. So, from here we get T 12. So, unducted fan it would be root over of 2 C P C T naught 11 minus T 12. So, that is what we get and once you get that then we have free turbine which is 7 to 8 and hot nozzle which is 8 to 9. So, from here we will write T 9 s equals to P naught 7 by P a gamma h minus gamma h which gets our 9 s and then temperature drop in free turbine would be T naught 7 minus T naught 8 eta F T T naught 7 minus T naught 8 s equals to eta F T into alpha into T naught 7 minus T 9 s. So, we get T naught 8, we get T naught 8 s. So, from here we get the pressure ratio which is T naught 7 by T naught s, s gamma h by gamma h minus 1. So, that gives us P naught 8 and then the nozzle exit velocity would be 2 C P H eta n into T naught 8 minus T 9 s. Now, so the thrust would give us m dot 1 plus f u n minus u. So, that you get then finally, energy balance would give us beta C P C T naught 11 minus T naught 10 equals to eta m unducted fan 
1 plus a c p h t naught 7 minus t naught 8. So, from here we will get beta and then the thrust force which is obtained for t u d f is beta m dot u e u d f minus u. So, the total thrust would be total u d f plus t n. So, and the power would be unducted power would be u into t u d f. So, that is how you can get and then finally, you can find out the propulsive efficiency which is T into U and the total equivalent power is P T total into U. So, this is T into U into 0.5 m dot into u m minus u square plus beta u unducted fan minus u square. So, then you can get the propulsive efficiency. So, that is how you also can analyze the three spool engine and that is uh, pretty much uh, uh, kind of uh, talks about this turbo prop, turbo shaft and turbo fan engines. And the analysis you have seen already this turbine based cycles how the analysis is carried out. So, now you would be able to carry out the similar kind of analysis. So, we will stop the discussion here and continue in the next session in the other topics. Mm -hmm.